Action. He passed the GPS back to Lana, who quickly shoved it in her trouser pocket, then opened the door, holding it for his sisters to walk through. As she passed, Aaron gently pushed her into the kitchen and towards the table. Looking around, Lana realised Ye Yang must have returned early because shopping bags were on the work surfaces. Pulling out two chairs, they sat down heavily, elbows on the polished surfaces, chins in hands. They were silent for what felt like forever. Soft music playing on the radio soothed them, and they could hear her upstairs, presumably tidying up after them. Their mum was always on their case about leaving things lying around in their bedrooms. As her grandmother made her way down the stairs, Lana suddenly pushed herself away from the table and whispered in Aaron's ear, Better hide the GPS. Then she tried to look innocent as she dashed past the old lady on the stairs, heading to her room. The bed was already made, so she took care not to ruffle the covers as she tucked the GPS under her pillow. Standing in the middle of the room, she stared at the three painted walls. One of them seemed slightly different, but for the life of her, she couldn't tell which one, or what had altered. A shiver went up her spine.